My name is Christy Hansen and I'm the new project manager on an airborne campaign for Earth Science called Operation Icebridge. I've been working at NASA here for almost 11 to 12 years and my whole career before Icebridge was all space flight related. So I worked space shuttle program and space station and then um, I just was looking around to try something different and I thought airborne campaign, what is this? What is this Operation Icebridge? And then I learned, you know, here at NASA, it's amazing how much work is being done using aircraft. So essentially what this airborne campaign does is it flies up to nine different geophysical instruments installed on the aircraft. So for a part of the year up in the Arctic up north between March and May, we fly this airplane over the Greenland ice sheet collecting data on the changing ice sheets, the sea ice, and the glaciers. And the idea is collecting data and showing over a, a long time series. How is the ice sheet changing? Maybe we can figure out why it's changing. Icebridge teams are all over the country. We have scientists, instrument managers, we have a, a data center, we have aircraft offices all over. Um, so they really needed someone who could kind of bridge the gap between all those communities. So the work was getting done and, and it's a hugely successful mission, but maybe I can help make things efficient and help with their documentation and things like that. Or So really each day, I just, I stand back and I look, where can I help? Because these are super smart people. Where can I help and not get in the way? It's like magic, you know, watching the teams work together. We have the aircraft team, they know what to do. They're keeping the plane safe. They make sure everything's configured correctly on the plane. The instrument teams, they're operating their laser altimeters. We have four radar systems. We have a magnetometer and a gravimeter. Um, they know what to do, they're on the plane. So it's like a well-oiled machine to get out there and think, look at all these teams. Are, how are they working? Are they working together well? Does anyone need anything? And it's all coming together for a common goal of we're gonna go out there, we're gonna work our butts off, collect this data, publish the data and ultimately learn more things about the earth and maybe things that we can do to understand you know, future sea level rise or climate change. Yeah, so it's been pretty like a huge whirlwind because this is only my, my fifth month on the job and literally a month into it, I, I flew to Greenland and supported the mission there for three weeks. I've never been to Greenland before, but um, I've done mountaineering in my past, so I've always been interested just from an adventurous side in climbing on the ice. So when I found out about Icebridge and, and a way to bring my you know, science, engineering, and right now it's more project management work, um, and mesh that with being on the ice or being around ice, I, I couldn't even find a, a better match than Icebridge. Other than work, the coolest thing I did when I was there, one weekend we kind of head off. It's not trivial getting out to the edge of the ice sheet, and then you get there and you see literally the edge of the Greenland ice sheet, which I had imagined being just like this flat natural curve down, but it was literally a huge ice wall. So um, they even warn you, don't step onto the, the ice sheet because huge pieces of ice could fall on your head. So anyway, we went there and I thought it'd be cool to collect Greenland ice samples for my friends. So I had my mountaineering Nalgene bottles and a little knife and etched off some pieces of it um, and brought it back here to the US so I could give little Greenland ice sheet samples out to everybody. So that was an, a cool, a really cool day.